come here, Mr. Congressman. My name is Charles Gonzalez, and I'm with the National Association of Letter Carriers. And just to touch on what you just said, next month, May 12th, the second Saturday of May, we hold our uh, annual food drive, Letter Carriers Food Drive, and we pick up food at every residence that we stop on. And what I'd like to speak to you about is a bill that's currently in the Senate. I know you're in the House, but it has some uh, provisions in it that will dismantle the postal service. It wants to eliminate Saturday delivery, which is the day that we pick up the food for the letter carrier drives, and it will eliminate door-to-door -door delivery. I know a lot of times a lot of seniors depend on their medications to be delivered. A lot of them are homebound, and we do a neighborhood watch. There are individuals who need our attention. They can't get outside and they need our help. And uh, what I'd like to talk to you about is they want to close the processing plants, 250 of them. They want to close 3,700 post offices nationwide and eliminate the standard for delivering first class mail. I know that it's going to affect seniors a lot. My mother lives on a rural route and I know that your grandfather was a letter carrier in Texas and he got his pension check in the mail. So if they eliminate door-to-door -door delivery, it will affect our food drive and it will affect those seniors that are homebound. So when that legislation does go through the Senate and reach the uh, House floor, we need to make sure that these provisions that will dismantle and damage the Postal Service and 80,000 jobs are taken out of that provision. Can you kind of speak sure, on that? Well, let me tell you, I'm totally opposed to that bill, first of all. Thank you. Secondly, uh, as a member, again, of the Appropriations Committee, the uh, Postal Service comes under the Financial Services Subcommittee, so we have a chance to weigh in on that. It may not be that, that bill because it's an authorization, but on the budget. Uh, thirdly, I mentioned I was the uh, former chair of the Black Caucus, but I also co-chair the Progressive Caucus, and we have formed what we call the Quad Caucus, Progressive, Black, Hispanic, and Latino Caucus. So that's a lot of votes. So I will be sure that we, you know, not allow those uh, provisions to go through. But we've got to remember we have a Tea Party-led Congress, so we don't have the numbers to win almost anything on the floor, as you may have seen, because of the structuralist nature of what we do, you know, of those 70 some Tea Party members. So we're going to fight and try to make this right. Second, let me also say that we've been fighting with the Postal Service to keep post offices open in my district, and we've been successful in keeping several open. I mean, they wanted to shut down post offices uh, in low-income communities. Of course, we have to fight that. Uh, even now, there's Saturday service, and I, I went to one post office personally for my mother, and I said, why is this post office closed? It was a Saturday. I went to another one in a different part of town, it was open. And so you know I'm raising pain about that. <laughs> and, uh, so there's got to be some equity, you know, and some justice in all of this. My grandfather was a letter carrier. Now, I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas. He was the first African-American letter carrier in El Paso. He had his degree from uh, Austin Tillotson College, and he spoke fluent Spanish. And uh, I remember pictures seeing him uh, delivering mail on horseback. <laughs> I was around that, but, <laughs> but he delivered mail on horseback. But when he and, and I can remember very vividly though, waiting for that mail delivery for his retirement check, going out there, getting it from the letter carrier. And, bringing it in once my grandfather retired. That little 200,000 month then really did help to take care of our family. So I am totally committed to the Postal Service and to letter carriers and to making sure that uh, they do not do what they do. What a, lot, what a lot of people don't understand too is that over 25% of the employees that are employed by the Postal Service right now are military veterans, myself included. And if they were to eliminate those jobs, it would affect veterans and the elderly. Yep. So we need to make sure that we keep Thank the Thank you for uh, raising that. We're going to mount a major campaign.